Uh, you, you, you recall that soldiers, I, I understand, were detailed to follow the governor, governor's convoy, the, the client. And there have been instances where uh, certain soldiers have been found wanting in, in the way and manner they were found where they were found, particularly in Kwandi, for instance, where four soldiers were arrested and handed over to the government the security agents. And the soldiers then came and abducted the Reverend Father. The soldiers? Yes, the soldiers from Takum. Excuse me, I think we have to get this straight. Yes. Soldiers, Yes. not the uh, marauding people who have invaded the town, came to hijack, kidnap no, a, see, a see, priest? See, there are conjectural pieces of the puzzle. Uh, which we, we, we must look at carefully. Let's see if we can fix some of them then. These attacks have taken place now, spread across eight local governments in Benue State. And that's why I was telling you, it's not just a Tiflo and a clash. There is a part of Idoma land that is also involved. They are Gatu. For a long time, they bore the, 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 the big brunt of the, the fighting. In fact, I have heard, though I haven't confirmed, that they are still receiving yet another attack, right as we speak. So um, this was in Kwandi local government, borders uh, Taraba, and not this other axis of uh, Nasarawa State that you heard the governor talking about. And um, apparently in most of the places of uh, this devastation you go, is the Kali church, the parishes, the church, the church premises that are the areas of the IDPs gathering. So I don't know what pos the, pos the position of the priests, but I understand that four soldiers, and this I read in the news, four soldiers were uh, arrested. I don't know why they were arrested, but I, I think they could not sufficiently explain their presence where the attacks had been taking place. And they were handed over, I read this, they were handed over. Now I don't know why the soldiers would then come and abduct these priests. And taking has, has it been proven that they were the ones who abducted the priest? Yes. I spoke to the dean of the diocese of Boko, and he told me, he even gave me the name of the priest. Have, you, priest have, you, bothered, sorry, Nyota, have you bothered to check uh, the crux of this whole imbroglio crisis, so to speak? In this particular story? No, the, the, the cause of this whole crisis, is it... Uh, over land or farm or what? No, we can just uh, take a look at some of the... You remember there was in the news, I think, on the 24th <coughs> of February where the uh, Cattle Rearers Association made a, a statement to the press that uh, the president should call Governor Susan to order, which means tacitly they, they know about what is going on because they have been alleging, too, that they are cows are, are being killed. But if they are so uh, involved, then we begin to question why a registered association should be party to what is going on. Because let me tell you, when they kill people, they don't just stop there. They mutilate them. And we're all Africans, and we know what it means. The, the, the dead bodies to, in, in African tradition is, are sacred. You don't go that far. They mutilate them. They remove the eyes. They remove several sensitive parts of the body and all that kind you of thing. You mean they, they actually stop to do all of this as they kill and move along? Yes. The question that I, I wanted to ask, which is tied to this, is are you sure these people, these marauders, are not living amongst the people? No, 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 no. They are not. Um, if, if, if we can take a, a broader look backwards, we'll take a look at what has been happening in Plateau State. Plateau State has, has had a case of pockets of settlement, of settlers. Benue State doesn't have. Benue State doesn't have this problem. You don't have a problem where, as in Wasi, in Plateau State, where a large population of Muslim or Fulani people are concentrated. You don't have that in Benue State. What has been happening all through is that they come, pass through the state on their way southwards. 
and that, that has been the pattern. But this time, what are they doing? They kill, they despoil, and they settle. They settle in that place. So these eight local government areas that have been attacked, as you said, yes. have these people settled there? Yes. When, 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 once they depopulate a place of the habitats, mm. they stay put. So they've, they've, they are still in those local They are in areas. those places. You dare not go there. And the security operatives haven't done Let anything. me tell you, there is a, a stretch of road. Uh, Governor Susan was being economical with the truth. Even Makodi town, because there is a place called Adaka, it's 15 kilometers from the, uh, from the center of the city. The capital city where Susan uh, <laughs> stays in his government house. They, 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 there's a road linking Makodi and Gwe West. Gwe West is one of the local governments. They've abandoned that road now. It's a federal road, completely abandoned. But you know, across Africa, uh, we have uh, some tribes uh, that you can find in Nigeria, in other parts uh, of uh, other African countries, for instance, Hausas, uh, Fulanese. So when you say these are not Fulanese, are you saying this uh, without certainty that these marauding people are not Fulanese? They are not. I told you that we know the physical characteristics of a Fulani, a typical Fulani man. We're not saying they must, they must all conform to a given statement. Have, have you heard any statement from Miyati Allah, the Fulani group? Where, on they, this? where I, I, I got it from the, 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 the this thing that the, the, Fulani, the Fulani cattle herdsmen are entitled to their space because the constitution guarantees them the right to go anywhere they want. I was just musing over it, but what was even more disturbing was that the Sultan of Sokoto, in one of his comments in the press, said that the Fulanis are grazing their traditional grazing reserves. I wonder what is traditional about Tivland. Because in history, and I think I read a lot of Nigerian history, I know a little about it. No part of Tivland has ever been under the suzerain or the control of the caliph for him to say this is a traditional grazing land. If he were saying a cattle route, not grazing reserves, I, I've, I've, I've never known of reserves in Benue State. Well, I have to thank you for coming on. Uh, Dr. Teve Akpa is a lecturer, Department of Political Science, Benway State University, shedding some light on what's been going on. And uh, one only hopes that the authorities will move in and secure lives and property there.